Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're gonna be profiling another subscriber request. This one is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. Their name is Atossa Therapeutics, and there's a lot going on at this organization that we're gonna talk about in today's video. Now before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a big help to myself, the channel. It's 100% free to do. It would greatly be appreciated. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. We just crossed the 43,000 subscriber milestone, and we'd love to have you as part of the community. And finally, let us know in the comment section below if you're currently holding shares of Atossa Therapeutics, your outlook for 2024, and how you think they stack up to some of their peers in this space. Now, with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're going to be profiling Atossa Therapeutics Incorporated trades on the NASDAQ in the United States under the ticker symbol ATOS. Now, as you can see, this is Tuesday, April 2nd, around midday, currently trading around eight and a quarter percent down on the session, or about 16 and a half cents per share, currently trading hands at $1.83 and a half. Now, this is on the back of financial results that just came out yesterday, or about 23 hours ago. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. However, if you zoom out on this company, you guys, to a one month graph, you can see a very strong bullish trend line being built all the way up from a dollar at the start of March to a peak right on the 1st of April of $2.04. And if you continue to zoom out to a six month view, you can see another very strong looking chart, which really started its move back in November of last year at around 63 cents US. Now Atossa Therapeutics is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. Their market cap is in the neighborhood of about a quarter billion dollars. And before we jump over to their corporate website, I did want to quickly look at that big press release or earnings announcement that came out on the 1st of April. Now, not only did this release include their 2023 financial results, but it also gave a great operational update, including the fact that they've now fully enrolled their phase two studies with data expected in the second half of this year. Their first patient has now been dosed in the new phase two breast cancer prevention study, which we're gonna look at in a second, and their ongoing data from their phase two Evangeline study, which is scheduled to be presented at the 2024 AACR annual meeting, along with the fact that they ended 2023 with $88.5 million of cash and cash equivalents on the balance sheet and no debt. So a very strong financial position for Atossa Therapeutics. Now I'd encourage you guys to go in and take a closer look through this press release. However, I did wanna move over to the corporate website. I'll leave this linked in the video description below and give you guys a little bit more in-depth understanding of what Atossa Therapeutics is all about. So you can see the tagline is developing innovative therapies to address unmet needs in breast cancer. And as you continue to scroll down, you can see their focus on transforming the current breast cancer paradigm. Now the company's lead program goes by the name of Endoxifen and their mission is to develop innovative medicines in the areas of significant unmet medical needs in oncology. And the way in which they're achieving this goal is through their experienced leadership team, their innovative approach, advanced programs, which we're gonna look at next, and the prevention and treatment sequencing itself. Now, as you start to learn more about breast cancer and prevention tactics, where breast cancer is most prevalent, you'll learn that there's various different factors that can increase the risk of breast cancer, including lifestyle decisions like poor diet, alcohol consumption, and things like genetic factors. Now, many of these factors can actually be reduced by taking steps before the cancer strikes. That's known as risk mitigation. So you can see the first step here would be factors that increase that cancer risk overall. Second would be risk mitigation. And the third component of this current paradigm is after breast cancer has been diagnosed, treatment plans, which can include surgery, radiation, and or chemotherapy, and long-term drug treatment therapy plans to reduce the risk of new recurrent cancer. Now what's nice about endoxifen is it actually has the potential to work in all three areas of this breast cancer paradigm to mitigate breast cancer risk, through the reduction of density of breast tissue, which we're gonna look at, reducing the cancer cell activity before surgery, and reducing the risk of recurrent or new breast cancer after that initial treatment. And the nice thing about Atossa's proprietary oral formulation here is the endoxifen chemical process and composition is patented, it's shelf stable, and has already been studied in a number of non-clinical studies. Now, with that being said, if we jump into the investor presentation, this was updated just in February of this year. 
You can see the leadership team we referred to earlier with a long list of existing resume experience between the C-suite along with a current summary of the breast cancer problem. And as you know, with a lot of these therapeutic type of companies, I really like to start with the problem that's trying to be addressed. Now, unfortunately, up to 50% of women have what's known as dense breasts or dense breast tissue, which increases the likelihood or risk of breast cancer. One in eight women are going to experience breast cancer in their lifetime, with just under 300,000 women being diagnosed each year in the United States alone. And 80% of U.S. breast cancer is what's known as ER positive or estrogen receptor positive, which is obviously important as an identification process in this technology. Now earlier we talked about the fact that endoxifen can be used or support in all different stages or steps of the breast cancer cycle, including the prevention setting, neoadjunctive window of opportunity, and the adjunctive setting, including value propositions like earlier detection in dense breast tissue, prevention of cancer in at-risk patients, potential improvements in breast conservation rate, and benefits in longer-term treatments as well. Now this is a look at the company's development pipeline. You can see a number of different studies or platforms in phase two trials, which really is gonna act as some key catalysts for 2024 and beyond for Atossa Therapeutics. Now they then go on to talk about some of the benefits of endoxifen itself. So again, I would encourage you guys to go in and take a closer look at the science and technology behind this platform and the fact that this is a novel CIRM or select estrogen receptor modulator with a de-risk pipeline and a strong moat of intellectual property. And here's a look at that long list of IP with 20 patent applications, three of which have already been granted and 17 sitting in provisional status. So for those reasons, you guys, I definitely thought Atossa Therapeutics was worth taking a look at. I appreciate each and every one of these subscriber requests as you guys write in about companies that you're interested in. I wanted to close out with a list of near-term catalysts on the horizon for Atossa Therapeutics. As mentioned, a number of the data readouts are coming online in 2024 here for these various different studies. So I would encourage you guys to take note of these on your calendar, specifically if you're already holding shares or looking to make an investment in Atossa Therapeutics, along with some key metrics, including the fact that they have that strong cash position, zero debt, and a breakdown of some of their current outstanding warrants and options. So again, you guys, Atossa Therapeutics showing some strong results in terms of share price and a lot of positive news on the horizon in 2024. I'd definitely be curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, specifically if you're already holding shares of this company. Let me know your outlook for 2024 and how you think their position compared to some of their competitors. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value, so make sure you hit the like button. It's 100% free to do and helps get this content to other people who may find value. And if you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, Feel free to join. We'd love to have you as part of the community. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next video.